Hello, I'm Gary Scott and this video is to demonstrate my pan tilt wheels trainer mouse. Uh, probably the best thing for me to do is just to show it to you while I talk. So I'll get my camera and bring it down here to show you. So as you can see what this um, uh, is constructed from is reclaimed scrap materials. Uh, these uh, wheels here, the pan and tilt wheels, are made from uh, the heads from old um, uh, VHS video players and the actual mouse part is, well it is actually a computer mouse, it's an old, um, uh, the old ball type, the old sort of mechanical driven type computer mouse which I've hacked into using um, uh, these little belts and wheels also salvaged from VCRs um, to drive I'm not sure if you can see that exactly I'll try to get a good view of that if you can see these there's the opto coupling there and the little uh, sort of photo interrupting um, uh, wheel which is driven now instead of being driven by the ball is now being driven by that little pulley wheel which is attached to to there so basically I've used the engineering which is quite nice engineering from the uh, from the video heads and integrated it with the existing mouse um, following that cable back to the computer you can well, you can't see. What you can't see there is in the dark is that it's going into USB effectively um, via an adapter because this is a PS2 type mouse. Um, now why would you do this? Why the hell would you do this? This is meant to be a, a device for training camera operators for using um, a pan tilt wheels. Of course, you know, sometimes still used on geared heads, but uh, more commonly these days being used, um, you know, for, to drive remote heads. Um, if you don't know what the pan tilt wheels are, you should probably just stop watching this video right now, because this is not going to be terribly interesting for you. If indeed this is interesting for anyone. I suspect some people will be interested in this. Um, now, as you can see, what happens here I'll just do this little repeated action. I'll keep this action going. Now if we come up to the screen here, it's probably a bit of a busy background, but you can see there, see the cursor going. That is pan. And now if I go to the other wheel here, that is tilt. Um, I'll pop the camera back on the tripod and just go in a little tighter just inside the screen and you should be able to see that panning and tilting I've got control over the cursor as you normally would have with a mouse but I'm doing it with the pan tilt wheels um, why I thought of doing it this way was that um, I remembered how uh, I mean, I'm old enough to remember the first time I used a computer mouse and how unnatural it was and how it wasn't an automatic thing. It's something you assume now that you use a mouse all the time that you know where up and down and left and right is. But it is something you have to learn and the wheels are the same. And in, and in order to be, you know, for the wheels to be any, of any use, it has to be, like using a mouse, it has to be automatic and instinctive. You can't be thinking about um, what's tilting and what's panning. You just have to be able to do it. Um, uh, and part of that is just practice and time and I don't think you know this is obviously not going to replace that sort of time uh, that you have to spend with a real a geared head or an actual remote head or uh, you know uh, uh, you know in a shooting situation but I think it will uh, help to sort of augment that and to remind people um, and you know kind of a little bit of fun anyway but um, you know I can use this for just as you would use a mouse 
Um, uh, you know, any sort of mouse. I've built a couple of little uh, micro switches into it so it's got buttons. I can come down here and open Firefox and just as I would normally do, I go up and, you know, I can open, um, uh, I need to check my email, I need to, uh, actually need to download tomorrow's call sheet. So there's a PayPal, blah, 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 blah. Click on all those and you know, basically I'm just using it as a mouse and it's got left and right buttons, it's got pan and tilt, so that's a fully operational, you know, computer mouse. Um, what, it, um, uh, what it can also do, though, where it starts to get a little bit more interesting and where the, the, um, the real application is, is, is not just in being used as a mouse, although that is still quite a good function for it, where it becomes really helpful is if you load up a game, for example, like Quake. Oh, you can see how dirty my screen is, kids. And I'll show you a little bit more of that in the next bit.